In this video I'm going to go over how to insert a drop-down box, how to have a list show up in that drop-down box, and how to change what's going to show up in the drop-down box. And we'll also go over protecting um, your Excel sheet so that other people can't change it. Very simple. If I wanted to name employees, and I wanted their name to show up in B1 with a drop-down box, this is what I would do. Um, I would m rename this last sheet uh, by right-clicking on it, hit rename, and I'm going to put all of my lists that I'm going to make on this last sheet, and we'll call this list 1, I'm just going to put some random names in there. And if I want all these names to show up in a drop down box on that first sheet, um, we're going to select all of them, right click, and we're going to define name. And we're going to call this list1. Um, it's called list1. It's going to work for the entire workbook. That's what this is showing. And it's referring to this range, um, A2 through A5. And if we go back to sheet1, and if we're highlighted in B1, we can go to data and do a data validation. There's a couple different options. You want data validation. Under settings, um, allowed value, you want a list. And our source, I'm going to do equals list one. And you want to type it out specifically exact way you named it so it knows what you're referring to. Hit OK. And then you'll see right there, there's Kim, Kyle, Matt, John. Um, now, if, if later on down the road someone else gets hired um, and we want to put their, their name and have it show up in that list again, um, we can add that really easily. Um, another thing that you want to do is before, if you're going to, if you wanted this to show up alphabetically, you want to do it now instead of later. So we're going to sort it, now it's alphabetical. We're going to go into formulas, and we're going to manage, uh, name manager. And this is our list one. We're going to edit it. The name's fine. The source is fine. Um, the reference, we're going to change that. And we're going to change it to have all these names involved. So all I did was... Um, hit the little button to the right of it, select what I want it to refer to, and I'm just going to hit enter, and now it shows us it's referring to A2 through A7, which is highlighted, that's what we want, and that is still good, so we can close, go back to sheet 1, and you'll see there's everyone's names, um, into alphabetical order, but that's okay. I oh, know that's alf alphabetical order. My bad. So there's everyone's names. Um, you can reuse that list as many times as you want. Uh, this is kind of quick too. If you have a huge list and you're going to use it over and over again, if I go to the bottom right corner, wait for the cursor to change, and then drag down. Now all of these are data validations with that same list to pick someone's name. As soon as you highlight them, the little drop down menu comes and you can select the name that you'd like. Um, lastly, what you'd want to do to make sure only certain personnel are 
um, able to change the list is you want to protect this um, this sheet. Um, if you right click on any cell and go to format cells just so you can see it. You have all these things that you can do to format a cell. The last thing is protection. See that locked is checked. That's awesome. Uh, if the lock box is checked, it means it's going to lock it when I protect this sheet and no one without a password is going to be able to change it. So then we're going to go under view review, sorry, and we're going to go protect sheet. Um, we are going to allow all users of this worksheet to select unlocked cells only. We're going to put in a password. You have to re-enter it. Okay, now on this sheet no one can do anything. But if we go to sheet one, they can still select any cell they want um, and change the names. But on our list, they can't do anything because everything's locked. Um, and then when you need to go in and change something, you'll go to review, unprotect, put in the password. And that allows you to now enter um, more information. And just remember to protect it when you sign back out. Um, I hope this helps, and let me know if you have any more questions. Thanks.